I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I like to give my two cents on what's going on with autism inside the media based on my own views. And finally, I like to cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And tonight, I would like to share an experience with you of what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum because I think this one is really essential to um, being on the spectrum because I think it might help us, some of you um, cognitive therapists and special education teachers and parents uh, to know and understand what it's really like to live on the autism spectrum. And so the first thing I would like to say is that um, uh, the volume in any room is much louder for me than it is for you. And I want you guys to imagine for a moment what it would be like for somebody to turn up the volume on a radio and then rip the knob off. And so that's what it's like for me to uh, to see the world because it's like that knob has been uh, ripped off and you just can't turn it down. So one of the uh, best options to do that is either wear a set of earphones or you also have to have a set of earplugs or you can plain, uh, cover your ears or plug them up. So. I wanted to mention an incident. So the last couple of times I had been attending my synagogue, um, I've been sitting in the front and during our praise and worship time, I sit right in front of the amplifier speakers and I've noticed that the sound engineers have been turning the volume way up during praise and worship time and I'm finding that it's really hurting my ears so I've had to move to the back. And so I finally decided to sit back up in the front because it's less crowded there and I don't like to sit by other people because it just makes me feel really uncomfortable. So I finally got a little fed up today and I uh, told some of my other um, friends at the con or not really friends but uh, other acquaintances who I enjoy talking to at the congregation that the noise was just way too loud. And so they told me to go talk to the sound guys. I went back there and politely said, no, not to be rude or anything, but it's way too loud up there. And then I, I tried to tell him about my situation by lip, that I have a sensory issue of living on the spectrum. And he immediately cut me off by being incredibly callous. And he said, yeah, well, you've been way too loud. So we had to turn the volume up and other people can't hear. If you've got a problem with it, why don't you just go to the back? And so I decided, okay, I'm not going to argue with him. And I immediately thought, ouch. And so I just broke down and started crying, which is something that an autistic does. I mean, I had a classic meltdown by crying because I felt like I wasn't being respected. So I walked up to the same member and I said, he was very rude. He's not turning the volume down. So I just broke down and started crying. She gave me a hug and then... One of my other friends who uh, likes to take me home after lunch uh, came up and sat next to me about it. And uh, we talked it over. But basically, um, what I was trying to do was raise autism awareness. I mean, there are people on the spectrum that do not like loud noises. And they're peop they, don't like, they don't like bright flickering lights. Like, they absolutely cannot stand fluorescent lights or fluorescent lights. Um, tubular bulbs because to them it flickers like a something in a discotheque they also don't some of them have trouble with uh, reading things on a paper and they have to use colored paper or colored glasses just to read because the words will sometimes jump out at them and you know it's it's the way their brains process I mean luckily I don't have that problem for me it's more like no sensory for me is some uh, noise in the ears or on my tongue so for those of you that live on the autism spectrum and you are watching this, you guys are more than welcome to tell me your stories of what are some of the experiences that you guys have faced where people suddenly started turning the volume up or started doing something that was uh, discomforting to you when you tried to explain the situation and the other person uh, became incredibly nasty with you. Um, for those of you that are uh, pediatricians and those of you that are special education teachers and those of you that are parents do not be afraid to comment and uh, please also be sure to share with your friends and family of what it's like of this situation so until next time my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing out now bye